All right, hi, this is William from Perma Pastures Farm, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make 18 day hot compost. All right, so this method of compost making, I learned from Jeff Lawton at uh, Zaytuna Farm. I stayed there for a couple of months in Australia, and for the last couple months of my stay, I, my only job was to make compost. And I made compost every day for a couple of months. And you'll need compost for everything, whether it be your garden, your nursery, or your main crop, or anything like that, you'll always need compost. And Jeff always said that he didn't make good gardens, he made good compost. So that's how important compost is. And the ingredients for this 18-day hot compost is a brown carbon material a green fresh material and last but not least you need a manure of some sort. Uh, it's better to have a variety of manures. Right now the only manure that we have available to us that we can easily harvest is uh, chicken. So we use the bedding from their area. <laughs> they poop on it and we collect it and we use it in our compost. Now typically when you're using a hardwood substance or any kind of wood substance, the carbon to nitrogen ratio is 300. So when you do that, you want to increase the sur surface area and try to use sawdust if you can. Now we don't have sawdust, so we use pine chip. So we're going to try to mitigate the issue there by adding a little bit more nitrogen. Um, and that form of nitrogen will be comfrey, which also doubles as our activator, and um, urine. Now, if you're worried about any toxins that you might have, from, let's say you sprayed your garden, or you're worried about toxins or medication in your urine, you don't have to worry about that if it's in small doses. If it's in small doses, the active composting will actually lock up toxins and make them inert. So the combination of the humic acid, the bacterial life, and the fungal life in your compost, all of that together takes the toxins locks them into a carbon molecule and makes them inert. So you get one long chain of carbon molecule that has all the toxins locked up into it. So you can test your compost afterwards and you actually won't have toxins. All right, so let me explain a little bit about the materials that we have here. The brown mass that you see here in the background. Our neighbor actually mowed the other day, so I asked if I could uh, scoop them up and use them for compost. He said yes, and we'll have a video for that real quick. This green material right here is actually a uh, green bean bed that we had in our garden, which you can see in a previous video. So we clear the bed, they were pretty much done producing, and uh, we're going to use that in our compost. Humphrey, we have just in our swales, it's growing everywhere around here because we planted it everywhere. And then our chicken manure bedding. To build this compost pile, I'm using this fence cage. This will be kind of my gauge to see how much I need to add. You want to have your compost pile about a cubic meter. If it's any less than that, then it's not really big enough for, to support life. So a cubic meter is just a little bit over a uh, cubic yard. So I'm going to do the first couple squares of the brown material, the green material, bedding, brown, green, and so on and so forth. While you're building this, you're going to want to water it. So after each layer, I'm going to spray it down real good. And, uh, that should be all the watering you need, if I do it correctly. Now you can adjust it later on as you're flipping. After you build it, you tarp it, and you let it sit for four days. Then after those four days, you're going to flip it. And then you let it sit for two days, and you flip it again. And uh, you do that for 18 days. If you do everything correctly, then by the end of the 18 days, you should have your compost.
folks there we have it this is our 18 day hot compost as you can see the there's layers in it so there's the, the brown the manure the green the brown the manure the green all right in the next couple of videos you'll see me actually flip this so in about four days i'll flip it and then every second day after that i'll flip it and i'll take you guys along for the whole process uh, from day one to day 18 and we'll see how this pile worked out together. All right, this is William from Permafashion's Farm. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.